Kern County is still shaken after the aftermath of last night's 5.2 earthquake and its several dozen aftershocks which remain rattling through the county. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. There have been 64 aftershocks ranging in magnitudes of 2.5 all the way up to 4.6 with the most recent a 3.8 magnitude shock happening less than 20 minutes ago. The initial earthquake happened just after 9 last night about 14 miles southwest of Lamont near Mettler. The earthquake rattled Kern County and beyond. Yeah, that's right. People reported feeling it all the way in Los Angeles County. Here's a look from last night showing the camera on Santa Monica Pier shaking from the quake. We turn now to Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein, who is live on the 99. Will, how is traffic looking after last night's backup? Michael, traffic is moving quite nicely. You would not have not noticed the events that took place on the grapevine last night. And what, what event are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the rocky day commuters had last night. In a mountainous area, you don't know if there's going to be rocks coming down. In fact, there were rocks coming down following Tuesday night's 5.2 earthquake, a big boulder blocking several lanes of traffic on the I-5 freeway around the entrance to the grapevine. It's a hazard to think about as several aftershocks continue to shake up Kern County. Something could be coming off the side of the hill. Watch how you react. Make sure of your surroundings because you don't want to jam on the brakes, come to a stop, and then all of a sudden you get rendered. That person gets rendered and cause a major chain of events. You heard from Officer Williams and law enforcement. What are folks in Bakersfield feeling about that earthquake? It seemed to last longer than any that we've had recently. It was kind of scary. This person tells us the shaking was the worst she has seen since 2019's Ridgecrest earthquakes, pointing to the several aftershocks. The tremors afterwards I felt a little bit, so it was what, a lot. What was that like when you feel all those aftershocks? A little bit scary. I have an 80 year old mom that lives with me, so if I had to move her really quick, it was kind of scary, frightening. It was pretty long. I honestly didn't know it was happening. It took a couple seconds to like register. Lady seen here was just trying to get something to eat when the shaking started. I was like getting a bowl of cereal and my apartment started shaking. My husband came out to check on me, so we were like really surprised. I barely felt it. Not everyone got the case of the shakes. That was the case of this man who says he has seen much worse, but the aftershocks were still unusual. It seemed like it came in waves, kind of like there was multiples in, in close proximity to each other. But the one message from our three interviewees remains clear. Stay safe, stay prepared, and... Don't panic. These happen a lot, and uh, just don't panic. Just stay prepared and get ready. We never know when it's going to happen. Be prepared for anything. And so our understanding is none of them are public safety officials, but if you want to hear from them and how to stay safe and prepared for that next earthquake, you can head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. That's where you will find that information. Reporting along the 99, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.